Hello, we're now going to talk about the 1.6.23 features that we have just released. We're proud to say that our system is fully ICD-10 compliant. In the administration area, you would simply change your coding settings from 9 to 10 when you are ready. We also have an ICD-10 converter tool, which will greatly decrease the pain involved in making the transition from ICD-9 to ICD-10. For example, in the assessment, when the physician is trying to come up with his diagnosis, he would put in his ICD-9, push the button to suggest an ICD-10 code, and the system will show the equivalent that he can use instead. We also can now rank your assessments in order of priority by moving them up and down easily. In the administration area, We've improved the letter templates by allowing you to choose different fonts. Also, you can insert logos and images into your letters as well. In the procedure area, you can also insert forms. Instead of having to text all of your procedure note, you can actually create a form and be able to complete items by checking off boxes such as yes or no and creating it the way you would like to practice medicine. Also, in the free text box areas, instead of having to memorize which kind of text macros you have available, you will be able to see which options are available and you would be able to choose the one you want quickly. Also, in the reporting area, we've also expanded the functionality to include more point of care items so, for example, let's say if you needed to find lot numbers and things like that, we make it very easy to do so.